I had the privilege of uh, working with a lot of great musicians in my days, and two of the mu most wonderful musicians that there were, were was Bill Monroe, obviously. But I played for another mandolin player for a little while who had a family band who was just a fabulous musician. His name was Buck White. And they played to two different drummers. They danced to two different drummers. Buck was a swing player where Bill Monroe's was based on a, a hard two-beat music, which was more like the blues. I used to think that, uh, you, you know, you can't swing the blues. Well, that was before I started paying a whole lot of attention to Count Basie because he sure would have proved me wrong on that. But when I went into work in Bill Monroe's band, I found out that he had those complementary forces at work in his band as well because Kenny Baker always played to a 4-4 timing signature where Bill most normally played to a 2-4 timing signature. That's why Kenny had issues with tunes and, and I'll do you one working on a building here in a, uh, a few Sundays and uh, show you what I meant by that. But those, they played to two different rhythms or timing signatures, but they were complementary to each other. And this is one of the tunes right here that uh, came along in the second half of Bill Monroe's career that I think really epitomized the way Kenny Baker just really interpreted Bill's music like no one else ever could. Here's one called The Road to Columbus. 